Hi beauties, welcome back. Jaira here. So, I got my slick bun on, guys. I, um, I was just trying to find stuff to do to my hair for the summer. That would be very low manipulating and just keep my hair, keep my hair healthy and help it um, retain length and grow. So the bun. See? But um, anyways, guys, today I'm just going to be talking about the journey. You know, like your journey, where you're at in your journey. So <laughs> I remember listening to a podcast or something I think it was like on relationships or something and the speaker was talking about how a lot of times you're not in a relationship because there's still stuff that you need to do like you need to get either your finances in, in order uh, you start a new business you know all this other stuff and then when I was listening to that, I was looking at my life and I was like, okay, like what, what areas do I feel like I need to, or do I want to be better? You know, allow me to focus on those areas, allow me to focus on bettering my mind, making sure I'm in shape, I'm at my best uh, weight or, you know, my healthiest weight. Um, I'm doing things to always challenge my body, you know, getting into new things, things like that. Um, and then what am I doing to make an impact? You know, what am I doing to inspire the world, to inspire people? And so I was like, okay, let me focus on those areas. And there was a point in time where it's like, boom, 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 all, the, all of them had stars, you know? And then through the journey, you go in and it's like, okay, your health and maybe your purpose, your passion, that you're working on, you know, your your brand, I would say, that you're working on is like 100%. But then your your mindset, you know, your mindset, you're still trying to get your mindset in line with where you're going, what you're doing. And sometimes you have like the mindset down, you're working on um, your purpose, you're impacting the world. And then it's like, um, you're still trying to figure out your health. You know, like, when, what should I be eating? When should I be working out? What workouts work best for me? Because, like, we like to say it, but not all workouts are for everybody. But anyways, you know, so, and I'm like, that's the journey. And then I was thinking, like, okay, honestly, I don't think that you have to have everything down, everything in place. I think it's more so that you have to have the mindset to be pursuing all of these things and getting them to a desired place of excellence. I think that's more so where you should be, you know, um, resting in progression, you know, resting in the daily activity that's gonna get you to the main goal instead of um, thinking that you need everything to be perfect in order for you to move forward. And that's that doesn't have to be like relationships. It could be business. It could be starting a family. It could be anything. But I think a lot of times we're looking at our checklist and not looking at the activity that we're doing in order to get that checklist all checked off. We're just looking at the fact that all, you know, you still have maybe have like 10 things out of 20 that are not checked off. So I can't move forward until all 20 are checked off. But it's that's not how it's supposed to be. That's what I'm realizing for myself. That's not how it's supposed to be. Your mindset should be focused in daily progression. You know, where are you constantly go growing? What are you constantly doing? Are you waking up every day excited? Because to be real, sometimes y'all, I don't wake up excited. I don't wake up excited. I just wake up like, this is it. <laughs> this is what we're doing, you know, like, and you know, like sometimes I still wake up like, oh my gosh. Um, sorry, I saw a black dot and I was like, is that a bug? <laughs> 
But I'm like, sometimes I still wake up like, Lord, what are we doing? You know, like, where are we going? And I think uh, we have these images and um, social media, which shows you not the struggle, not the journey, not the crying nights, the late nights, the ups and downs, the when it didn't work, not none of that. It's just all the wins, 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 you know, all the good times, all the laughs, all the happiness, all the excitement. But when you're growing, there's a lot of discomfort. There is a lot of pain. There's a lot of, I don't want to do this. There's a lot of, I don't even know if this is for me. There's a lot of second guessing. There's a lot of questioning. But the only difference between, you know, that Instagram finish posting, I would say, the win posting and uh, other things is the fact that through that journey, the ones that are posting in their wins never gave up. They were going through the same emotions. They were going through the same feelings. They were going through the same doubts, but they didn't allow that to stop them. They, in spite of feeling that emotion, in spite of, you know, having the pressure, you know, all of that stuff, being in the pressure cooker, in spite of all that, they were just like, let me continue to persist forward. Let me continue to move forward. Let me continue to wake up and do the daily things that I set up because I'm not allowing myself to be governed, I would say, by my emotions, by how I'm feeling. I'm allowing myself to be governed by the outcome, by the vision that I see, you know? So one thing that I would say food for thought is focus on the journey. I heard this and the man said, the one who enjoys walking is gonna walk further farther, 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 you know what I mean? Than the one who was trying to get to a destination. And he was like, in that, basically, it's enjoying the journey. The one who enjoys the journey, you know, the one who's not just looking at the outcome, looking at the destination, looking at where you need to be, but the one who is just like taking in all that is happening for you, that one is going to get to the destination quicker in a better spirit with less stress happier because you're even if you know let's say trees fall down or squirrels are throwing nuts even if that happens during during your walk it's not going to upset you because it's just like ah oh, this is what happens when you walk opposed to someone who's only looking for the des for the outcome, you know, the destination. If a tree falls, it's like, oh my God, what am I gonna do now? Like now I have to step over this tree. That's gonna put two extra minutes on my walk. I don't wanna do that. I didn't wanna do this in for, you know, it's like <laughs> a different mindset. And so um, in your journey, one, don't, I have your outcome in place, have where you're going, that vision in place, because you need that. That is extremely important. I'm not saying negate that just and like be la di da like have that in place. But then more importantly, um, you know, focus on your daily dues, focus on progressing, focus on um, if you are feeling tired and I don't want to do this and what's the point of this? What do you now need to do to get yourself into a state of like, I'm excited for this. I understand why I'm doing this. You know, what do you have to do to trick your mind? What do you have to do to, you know, get yourself in line? Um, what do you have to do to get yourself back on the horse? Because we all love, you know, outside um, applause. We all love to be cheered on, all that stuff. But sometimes the outside applause doesn't come until you have applauded yourself until you have constantly and continuously motivated yourself, spoken over yourself, you know? And so in your journey, whatever that journey may be, whether it's, you know, career-wise, relationship-wise, business-wise, whatever, um, you're gonna experience highs and you are gonna experience lows. And focus on enjoying the walk opposed to just trying to get to the destination. And I think that journey might be a lot better for you guys. I know for me, that's what I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on the walk, you know, the beauty, the being able to see the colors in the skies, has however many trees there are, different flowers, different animals, 
um, you know, the beauty, the nature. That's what I'm focusing on instead of just like, you know, this is where I gotta go, this is where I gotta go, this is where I gotta go, because that can become very exhausting. So I love you guys. Bye.